Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you about a case that happened around a very tough time. And this is when Hurricane Irene happened. And a search for marble end up, ended up being very, very hard to happen after he went missing. But I'm going to give you some history on him before I get into his story. So, Marble was born June 14, 1994. His mother, Singrid, thought the name Marble was whimsical and fun, a name that people wouldn't remember. So, he was also classified as being special needs. I'm not sure if, in fact, this was autistic because they do describe him as being high-functioning. So I'm not sure if that's what they are referring to. So this is a newspaper article from when he first went missing. He is 17 years old at the time he disappeared. 6'2", 165 pounds, green eyes, fair complexion. Blonde, shoulder length hair, last seen wearing black pants and black shirt. Any information, please call Julie Cunningham, 1 802 258 1390, or Brattleboro Police Department at 802 257 7946. There's another missing flyer on the telephone pole. With more than a week passing since anyone has seen or heard from 17-year-old Marble Arvidsson, the concern is growing while a search is ongoing. So he was last seen on Saturday, August 27th, a day before tropical storm Irene brought torrential rain and flooding to the Green Mountain State. Police say he left his home on Marble Road in West Brattleboro, Vermont, around 2.15 p.m. after letting a man inside his house sometime after 1 p.m. Police have not released further information about the man other than saying a housemate saw Marble let him inside. According to police, the teenager left a note saying he was going for a hike and planning to meet his girlfriend at 4 p.m. He never made that meeting. Over the weekend, volunteers and police searched the woods where Marble was known to hike, but to no avail, a coordinated search was conducted by volunteers and police on foot in ATVs, but turned up no clues, according to police. Marbles aren't Sergeant Mudge, Trish Kurtridge of the Massachusetts National Guard took leave from her duty and is in Vermont assisting the search. Missing persons posters, anonymous tip boxes have been placed across Vermont and New Hampshire in an attempt to solicit new leads in the case. Marble, who was last seen wearing a black outfit and a dark bowler hat, is preparing for his senior year at Brattleboro Union High School. Anyone with information about Marble is asked to call Julie Cunningham at 802-258-1390 or the Brattleboro Police Department at 802-257-7946. And I wanted to show you what this storm looked like. <clears throat> So that's how bad it hit Vermont. Pretty, pretty bad. So I wanted to give an example about how bad it hit there. So yeah, Irene was pretty bad. Seven inches of rain, 10% Vermonters lost power. 
So this is a really, really horrible storm. And this made searches very, very complicated because they couldn't go out and search for him in this type of weather. So he was a young man with his own style, as you guys have seen in the pictures. He wears this hat. He loved wearing that hat. That was one of his favorite hats that he loved to wear. <clears throat> and that's called a fedora hat. He wore it wherever he went. When Marvel was 17, which was in the year 2011, when he vanished, he was residing with a foster family in Brattleboro, Vermont. This family was also considered to be friends and mentors for Marvel, and he enjoyed living there. Marvel, as I said, is considered special needs and classified special needs by the system because he was in foster care. He was very intelligent and high functioning. He also had a girlfriend and he was supposed to meet her at 4 p.m. As I said, he was not there. He never met her. So he lived with his foster parents and another child at the home at the time of his disappearance. He had been in the foster care since ninth grade. Having stayed with the two families, he was still close to his first foster mother and visited her several times a week. All this, all his loved ones stated they didn't think he had run away as this was uncharacteristic of his behavior. So as I said, he was a student at Brattleboro Union High School. He was to start his senior year. He was considering colleges, including the University of Vermont. His family and friends stated he was happy and had no reason to leave home. He didn't own a cell phone at the time he vanished. So shortly after he vanished, the tropical storm Irene flooded most of the county. He is an avid hiker, and there was speculation that he got lost or drowned as a result of the flood. Extensive searches of the area turned up no sign of him or his body. The person who visited him the day he vanished has never been identified. Marvel's disappearance remains unsolved till this day. Again, I want to show you the storm here. Now, when he vanished, that storm happened. And there were seven inches of rain. 10% of Vermonters lost power. So it was pretty bad. That's Grafton. These are just places all around Vermont. Oh, that's the one in 1927. But this is the one that happened recently. And this was, what date does this have? It was 12 years ago, so 8, 29, 11. So it was a crazy storm. I want to share with you guys one more news article. And I wanted to get his name back in the algorithm. He's been missing since 2011. And his family 
you know, want some answers and they're never ever going to give up hope until until they do find him. <clears throat> so this is the same exact um, information. So Singred pleaded with the public to come forward with any information about her son during a press conference. This has been a difficult few months for the people of Brattleboro, given recent events, and you helping our family at this terrible time is appreciated very much, she said. Any of you who know Marvel and know his wonderful sense of humor and his quick intelligence must miss him. Again, he is six foot two inches tall with shoulder length blonde hair, and he was wearing a black t shirt and a fedora at the time of his disappearance. Anyone with information, please contact these numbers. So you got 802 257 7946, 802 for a confidential tip line, 257 9111. Julie Cunningham, 802-258-1390. And Patricia Ketridge at 413-478-1669. So please, guys, remember to hit that like button. Comment below and please share out. Let's bring Marble home. You guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.